What's up guys, FJPHD here, back in episode 243 of Room Tour Project, the series where you show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspiration for your own setup. If you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out if you're interested. We'll kick it off now. 243. First up, we have Elijah giving us all the cozy vibes in a way. Even though the paneling on that brick wall behind the setup is fake, I think the contrast here with the two different colored brick looks really nice, especially complementing the wooden desk here. Just looking real good. Nice earthy tones all across the board. So Elijah's going with the dual Tetris shaped monitor setup here, with the primary being an HKC 24 inch, and the vertical on the left side being a 22 inch from Samsung. Now checking out the peripherals also matching the setup with a Rock Lamang Pro keyboard with the uh, Kale Box white switches inside. This company's from the Philippines. Also has some wooden accents for some of the keys to match the walnut wrist rest. A Seal Series Rival 3 mouse. And then for audio, we have the Edifier R1280 dB bookshelf speakers, the Seal Series Arctis 5 headset, and the wooden headset stand to again match the wooden veneer in not only the entire setup, but the bookshelf speakers as well. And then we've got a nice black and white PC over on the right side of the desk with the Rock Hawani Flow case. Inside the Ryzen 5 3600X CPU, cooled by the Bike Ski 240 AIO. Okay, 16 gigs of T-Force Delta RGB RAM on an MSI B450 Gaming Pro Carbon Max motherboard. If you hear my dogs in the background, just ignore them. Hey! Come on! It's 5.30, they let me know it's almost dinner. Korg one. Spinny. Come on, spinnies. Spinnies. And crazy Korg number two. Alright, where were we? We got the Sapphire Pulse RX 580 then for the GPU. And a peek under the desk, and man, remember, it doesn't have to be pretty, which this definitely is not. But as long as it gets the job done, there's nothing really hanging on the floor. If it's out of sight, out of mind, it'll work, right? What's also working is the really nice pegboard he has off to the left side of the room on the wall there. Nice for organization and stuff, but also a good style piece. I think it looks really nice. So some really good stuff from Elijah here. Again, really like the tones and the vibes the setup has. Just nice and cozy. I think that's the best way to describe it. Next is Ken from Singapore with a really unique looking setup. Big window, all that natural lighting, some additional RGB, tons of shoes. Lots going on here, so let's check it out. For his desk setup and his monitor orientation, it's pretty much the reverse of Elijah, still the Tetra shape stuff here. His main monitor is an LG 35 inch ultra wide with the vertical on the right side being an ASUS 27 inch. For his peripherals, we have a KBD 75. He has cherry brown switches inside with Dolce keycaps. Logitech G Pro Super Light mouse. And also on the desktop, there's still a lot going on. He's a Sound Blaster G6 for his amp and DAC an Elgato Stream Deck, a Seagate Firecuda Gaming Dock, then also for audio, the Logitech G Pro headset, and the Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers. Now, when I first saw this setup, I thought there were three total monitors. That's just a print behind the primary display, so I thought that was like one vertically mounted behind there as well. Uh, but also keep off that rug, because off-white is, yes. Side note, hanging off of his boom arm for his mic, I'm really digging the Pathfinder figure here. Little touch like that, you know, adds a lot of personality to his setup, so I really like that. And then in the background, you can see his PC. This is the NZXT H1. Inside is an Intel i7 9700 CPU with the AIO that's pre-built inside. 32 gigs of G-Scale Trident Z RGB RAM. Got an ASRock Z390 Phantom Gaming ITX motherboard. And a Gigabyte Aorus RTX 2080 Super for the GPU. And you've seen it in the background, but now we got a glimpse at all those shoes. That's a lot. That's a lot of money right there. I know from, I wear like two pairs on the rig, so I can't relate to this. That's nuts. Also, no idea what those light bars are. So, Ken, I think it's safe to call this like, you know, a nice hype beast setup. I'm still liking the way it all came together. Would have liked to have seen some more wide shots of the room overall, but either way, I'm digging what you have here. Now is Nabil the Unicorn with the Outrun theme setup, I'll call it. I've made the mistake of calling setups like this Vaporwave themed, and boy, do people cry about that, because Outrun and Vaporwave are so different. Spoiler, they're not. 
Anyways, I can't tell if this setup is underneath a bunk bed. It kind of seems like that. I don't have a wide shot of the room to confirm, but it does look like it is. So that's pretty cool. So going for this setup, he has three monitors going with a Samsung 27 inch as the primary. And then the two mounted off to the left side are 22 inch monitors from Samsung. Now checking out his peripherals, some of these shots are like straight up so good. They could be like actual product shots for Razer, because there's a lot of Razer stuff going on here, as you can see. Uh, we have the Razer Ornata V2 keyboard with the Razer Mamba wireless mouse, in addition to the Razer Tartarus V2 gamepad. Uh, that's all on the Razer Goliathus extended chroma mouse pad and the Razer Firefly V2 mouse pad. And then for audio, can't forget the Razer Nari wireless headset. So a definite Razer lover here, but again, all the RGB and stuff is synced and matching, so it goes along with the entire setup, even the Flamingo. And you would be a downright fool not to believe that his PC is also flowing beautifully, matching 100% inside the NZXT H510i case is a Ryzen 7 5800X CPU with an NZXT Kraken X53 AIO. Even has like a little like, you know, those palm trees on the uh, cooler there. 64 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM on an Aorus B550 Pro AC motherboard from Gigabyte. I said motherboard weird. And then a Gigabyte RTX 3060 Ti graphics card. I keep forgetting those are even a thing. So Nabil the Unicorn with the Flamingo showing up with the really nice color synced setup, triple monitors, Outrun, Synthwave, Miami Vice, Vice City, whatever you want to call it, it's a really nice looking setup. Next up is Ketlo with a triple monitor setup, a super long L-shaped desk. Maybe it's just a crazy wide angle lens, but that's a hell of a desk. That's some wood. So he's got the triple monitors, the little arcade machine right next to it, some a Nanoleaf Aurora light panels to add all the RGB to mix it in with the backlighting behind the desk. All right, let's dive into it because for the triple monitors, his primary is a Samsung 27 inch, but it's a 240 Hertz gaming monitor. And on each side, he has an additional 27 inch from Samsung. Uh, those two though are 75 Hertz. Now for the peripherals, we have the Razer Huntsman Mini, all white here with some black accented keycaps, going along with the Razer Death Adder. No, he wrote Death Adder, it look, it's looking like a lance head to me. Oh well. And then he also has a secondary keyboard he likes to, uh, you know, switch up and use the Ducky 1-2 Mini. And then next to the setup is a nice shelf for some retro consoles and stuff, like how it's all set up and presented here. Um, also is his headset, as you can see, the Turtle Beach Elite 800X, in addition to his Astro A50 he also has right next to the PC, which we'll dive into now. The NZXT H510 Elite. And inside is an Intel i7-10700K with an NZXT Kraken Z63 AIO. 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM on an Asus ROG Strix Z490A motherboard and an Asus ROG Strix RTX 2080 Super in white. And that is just the cherry on top here for this really nice looking build. The RGB blends nicely all across here. And then for a shot underneath the desk using one of those Ikea Signums to keep everything off the ground. For everything going on on the setup, definitely a good job here, keeping it nice and tidy. So Ketlo checking off all the boxes, right? You got the RGB, you got the nice looking setup, big long wooden desk, the natural lighting, the plants and stuff throughout the room. Definitely a killer gaming setup. And I assume also a streamer with that ring light and stuff. I mean, when you got a ballin' setup like this, gotta be streaming, right? But yeah, loving this Ketlo. And then last but not least, we have Rexman. And I can't remember 100% if we've had him on before. The setup looks familiar, but what's really, you know, tipping it off to me is that crazy custom RGB like cloud he has made and those really cool hexagon uh, like panels above the wall with the RGB backlighting. And you know what? If we did show it off, doesn't matter. You can check it out again, right? Literally no such thing as too much inspiration. Okay, so for those three monitors, the primary is an AOC 34 inch with a 27 inch on each side from Samsung. Now with that all black desk, looks like he applied some sort of glossy finish to it. So a lot of the RGB sort of like reflects and shines off it real nicely. For the peripherals, Razer Black Widow Elite, Razer Death Adder Elite on the Razer Goliathus Extended Chroma. In the back, some additional RGB. I think those are from Govi. Got like a, an Echo Dot, as well as some sort of those Daivoom Pixus you can see on display. 
with Logitech Z333 speakers and a Corsair HS70 Pro for his headset. And then of course, everything, since you know it's all, R this is a completely RGB setup here, it can all be completely switched up to go from green and, you know, blue to just purples, pinks, and blues. That, after all, is the beauty of having all the RGB. You can either use it to go all static or just use it to completely change up the entire feel of your setup. And then going over to the PC, probably the most popular case on this series, the Leon Lee O11 Dynamic. This is the Razer Edition inside an Intel i9-9900K CPU with a Cooler Master Master Liquid ML240L RGB AIO. Always a just ridiculous mouthful. 16 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM, an Asus ROG Strix Z390E gaming motherboard, and an Asus ROG Strix RTX 2070 Super GPU. And then a quick wide shot so you can see the entire room. And he also has a secondary setup over there. We're not going to go over that, but you can just see all the gear and hardware he's got going on in this room. And it is just an insane, insane gaming setup here from Rexman. Again, loving that custom DIY RGB cloud. The uh, hexagon foam panels on the wall look really cool. This is RGB to the max. And by the way, if you're still watching at this point, you know how I like to test new mics out every few weeks. I think this one's a keeper, huh? All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 243 of Room Tour Project. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did give this video a big thumbs up, show your support. And don't forget, check the links in the description down below for all the gear and hardware you saw. I listed down there for you, as well as some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup if you want to be possibly considered in a future episode. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.